What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the best courses for alternative analyst jobs. Now, just about everywhere you look, you'll find courses that will help you become a data analyst, but some people want to focus on different types of analyst jobs. But it can actually be pretty difficult to find good courses for these alternative analyst jobs. You know, maybe you want to become a business analyst or a financial analyst or something else. It can be kind of difficult to find good courses to help you actually learn those things. So I have spent a considerable amount of time scouring Coursera, trying to find the best courses for these analyst job titles that are not just data analyst focused. But before we actually jump onto my screen and start taking a look at these courses, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is Coursera. Coursera is an online platform that provides some of the best courses and certifications on the market today. I have personally been using them for about five years and I have learned so much. I recommend so many of their courses to you because I truly believe that they really can help you. If you have not used their platform before, I highly recommend checking them out. I will leave a link in the description. Thank you again to Coursera for sponsoring this video. Now for all the courses that we are about to look at, I will leave a link in the description if you wanna go and check that out. And I also wanted to say that I have not taken all of these courses. I've taken some of them, but I am a data analyst. So some of these just don't pertain to me. But if you are a business analyst or a financial analyst or some of the other ones that we're gonna look at today, uh, these looked like really, really good ones. And I'll kind of walk through why I think they're good and why you might wanna take it. Uh, but let's look at this first one. This is a business analytics specialization. Now, as a business analyst, typically you're not going to be as tech heavy as something like a data analyst, where you may not be using Python or a lot of SQL. You might be doing some Excel, maybe a little SQL and maybe a little visualization, potentially. This course here focuses a lot on the domain knowledge and it walks it through all in Excel. So you're not gonna learn a ton of tech, you'll learn a lot of the domain knowledge, which I think is still really valuable. So let's scroll down here. Uh, let's see what you'll be learning. Uh, this stuff I didn't find super interesting. Let's get on the courses. So you learn customer analytics, operations analytics, people analytics, accounting analytics, and then there is, whoops, there is a business analytics capstone. Now, all of this is done in Excel. None of this has any SQL or Python or any other really technical skill. They use Excel to really showcase what data is, how it's used within these different domains. As you can see by the ratings, it has a really high rating on almost all of them. And when I actually went in the courses, it looked really, really good. So if you were a business analyst or you wanna be a business analyst, I think this one looks like a really good one to take. The next one that we're gonna look at is the Meta Marketing Analytics Professional Certificate. And if you remember, I actually did a full review on just this course. I'll leave a link if you wanna check that one out. If you're wanting to become a marketing analyst, this one is a really good place to start. And if you watch my full review, some of the videos and the instructors are a little bit quirky, um, but the information that they actually teach is really good. I fully think that a lot of what they were teaching is things that are really relevant to marketing analytics. And so uh, let's take a look at the courses really quickly. You'll look at Marketing Analytics Foundation, Introduction to Data Analytics, and I talk a little bit about why that rating is low. I do agree with it. There's Statistics, Data Analytics Modeling, and Marketing Analytics with Meta and then you have the certification exam at the end. In this course, you're gonna learn all about marketing analytics and how they collect the data, the metrics, the KPIs, all of that stuff. And I actually found that a lot of the information that they were teaching was just really interesting and stuff that I did not know because I'm not a marketing analyst. So a lot of this stuff was really new to me and I thought was really interesting. They're gonna teach you how to use some of the skills like Excel, SQL, Python, and Tableau. I think it's just a really good place to start because I feel like the domain knowledge in this is where it really shines. And so if you're looking to kind of understand more of the domain knowledge behind marketing analytics and as well learn some of the technical skills as well, this is a really good course and certification to get. So I actually have two courses for this next job title, which is a financial analyst. I am not a financial analyst, but uh, these courses looked really interesting. And this one is Python and Statistics for Financial Analysis. I find that financial analysts tend to be more tech heavy than most other types of analysts. Maybe even data analysts and, and financial analysts are pretty similar. They're just more tech heavy. And I find that Python tends to be the one that you see the most, uh, at least that's what I've seen when I see financial analyst job postings. And so this one specifically looks at everything Python related and it doesn't go like crazy in depth. But I think it's a really good intro course to kind of understand what things you should be learning and looking at in Python. So if we scroll right down here, let's go to the syllabus. There is visualizing and munging stock data, 
random variable and distribution, sampling inference, and linear regression models for financial analysis. Now, when I actually went in and started taking a look at these videos, the videos were well done and the information that he's teaching looks really relevant. And so I thought that this one looked like a really good one, even though it doesn't have a ton of people who have taken it. I thought that this one looked like a really good kind of introduction to financial analysis. The next course that I recommend for financial analysts is this accounting analytics course. Now, this is part of the business analytics specialization, which was the one for the business analysts that we looked at. But this course specifically within that specialization looks very much geared toward financial analysts. Let's take a look at the syllabus really quickly. So we have ratios and forecasting, earnings management, big data and prediction models, linking non-financial metrics to financial performance. Now remember, this is all in Excel. None of this is in Python. So the first course, this Python and statistics for financial analysis is gonna be a lot of Python, very focused on that. And then this one is gonna be very focused on Excel. And as you know, any analyst is gonna be working a lot in Excel. So I felt like those two courses working together are gonna to cover a lot of ground. And this course to me felt like it had more of the domain knowledge as I was walking through it. And the other one, the Python and statistics was much more the technical aspect of it. The next course that we're going to look at is sports performance analytics specialization. Now this is for sports analysts. I am not a sports analyst myself. I've never taken this one, but it looked extremely interesting to me. Um, and let's go over to the courses really quick because I was just, I just thought this looked fantastic. I watched one or two of the videos and I was like, this just looks super, super interesting. Um, first thing that they do is kind of go through the foundations of sports analytics, what kind of data you're working with, the representation, models and sports. And then they started going to some actual use cases, some ways that data has been used in sports, like Moneyball, um, which is just a fantastic movie if you've never seen it. And so I actually went through and looked at a lot of these um, courses or the videos in this in this part of the course, just because it was really interesting to me. Uh, and they talked a lot about Moneyball and how statistics and the data is used in sports analytics. Then they talk about prediction models within sports data, wearable technologies and sports analytics, and then an introduction to machine learning in sports analytics. If you were looking to get into sports analytics, I found this just a really fun, charming course. And I think it was a great introduction. It didn't get crazy technical, but it went a lot in depth into how they actually use the data in sports, which I found really interesting because, you know, I'm a big sports fan myself. So if you're wanting to become a sports analyst, I think this is a great introductory course to kind of get a feel for it. The very last course that we're going to take a look at is the data visualization with Tableau specialization. And this one is for data visualization specialists. Now, if you don't know what a data visualization specialist is, it's pretty clear by the title. These are the people who create the visualizations. They specialize in creating visualizations. And one of the best tools that you can learn to get a job and kind of get into that industry or that career is to learn Tableau. And I have taken this course like four, maybe three or four times all the way through because it is just phenomenal. If we take a look at the courses, you're gonna learn the fundamentals of visualization with Tableau, essential design principles for Tableau, visual analytics with Tableau, creating dashboards and storytelling with Tableau, data visualizations with Tableau project. I am not exaggerating when I say that this specialization literally taught me Tableau because I have taken it so many times and I just learned so much from it every single time I walked through it. So if you're wanting to become a data visualization specialist, this is probably the number one course that I would recommend to get into that career path. I hope that that was helpful because I did a lot of digging trying to find these different analyst positions and job titles and niches because you know, it's hard to find those courses to find a good course that will teach you a lot of that domain knowledge as well as the technical skills that you need. Again, if you want to check out any of the courses that we looked at in this video, you can find links in the description. Thank you again to Coursera for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.